What's good everyone, it's Smudgy here. We're gonna ignore that I haven't uploaded in like almost a month. And we're just gonna move on because life got busy. But here is the H4 Blixen Gold Camo Guide. And we're just gonna pretend that nothing ever happened and, and move on as usual. It's a pretty easy gun to get gold. When I first picked it up, I was a bit concerned that long shots would be a pain, but they honestly weren't. The attachment specific challenges are probably the easiest three I've seen. Super, super easy. Pretty much attach anything you want. I prioritise firepower because it can feel a little bit weak. Did it all in hardcore, either hardcore ship house or hardcore. Is it Sphere? Is that the new map? Regardless, I use that for long shots just because it's nice to switch things up every now and then. But let's jump into the challenges themselves. 400 eliminations to kick it off, super easy. And then you have 50 headshots, again, pretty easy. I'd be surprised if you don't accidentally shoot 50 people in the head throughout the duration of getting the other camos done. Then you have 50 multi kills, again, pretty easy, especially on ship house, shouldn't have any issues doing this. And then you have five kills without dying 30 times. As always, if you are struggling with this, do remember that if you are on Das House, for example, and a grenade that you throw gets two kills, gets three kills, you only need then to make up the two or three kills with this gun in order to get bloodthirsty. Similarly, if you really hate this gun, use overkill, equip another gun that you prefer, get four kills with that gun, and as long as the fifth kill comes with this gun, it will count. Then we have 50 long range kills. Again, thought it was going to be a bit of an issue. The burst barrel is pretty useful for it. It's really not difficult. Most people know the Das House long shot spots now. I'm never, I've never been a massive fan. In all honesty, I don't like doing my long shots in Das House. The new map was pretty fun to do them on. There's enough lines of sight that you can get away with it. Otherwise, hardcore domination, hardcore hard point, anything like that is usually a pretty good bet. Then we have 100 close range kills. Super easy. Hardcore ship house. I think most people know this by now. Go to town. And then you have 100 hit fire kills. Probably the most annoying camera challenge. Not difficult, just it's a weird way to play. There's a multitude of attachments out there that will increase your hit fire accuracy. It doesn't really need it. You can definitely get away with it any build. It's just a case more so being in close quarters to people. Especially on something like Das House, if you can spawn trap and just sit in their spawn and shoot them as they run out, it makes it so much easier. Or in shipment, sitting on that kind of upper level set of crates, you can just shoot people as they run through the middle and there's nowhere for your bullets to go other than into them. Then you have 100 kills with the burst barrel, the 27 round mags and perfectionist proficiency. Literally just 100 kills. I couldn't believe it when I read this, you just gotta kill people. It really is that simple. And then you have 100 aiming down sight kills with the F3 barrel, the Mark 6, is that Roman numerals aren't my strong point? Mark VI? Mark 6, I'm pretty sure. Scalisal under barrel and slate reflector optic. Super easy again, just make sure you're aiming down sights. And then finally, 100 kills without taking damage from that enemy with the Mercury Silencer, the 17 inch custom barrel and the 36 round mag. Super easy. I think people overthink this one a bit. In hardcore, you either shoot or get shot, so you don't need to worry about it. Just kill people and the chances are every 8 out of 10 kills will count towards it. It's really, really not too difficult. And that is the H4 Gold. Super easy. Definitely one of the easier SMGs to get gold. If you are working towards Atomic, I'd highly recommend doing this one over some of the others. Um, especially some of the weaker guns at range, that is for sure. But regardless, if anything's not clear, you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully we'll get onto a better uploading schedule, maybe. We'll see. As always though, guys, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.